Pojď se. Je to pro Nikok in the blue trunks and Vusi in the maroon trunks. And we have today Ricky Shavalala with us. <laughs> so, Hayden, I just want to say with Vusi, um, calls himself a night rider, I like that. Mm. Um, he's got as well a lot of fights, nine losses. So he's been in there, um, but he's lost a lot of times. Etienne, undefeated. He's a very aggressive fighter, comes forward and likes to throw punches. Let's see if the Knight Rider can handle what the Thunder's going to bring. And let's see if uh, he maybe can push you know, Etienne back and uh, take him through his paces. Oh, Etienne's got a very old school type of style there. He does, yeah. does. He's very boxed up and closed and tight, but I like it. He uses his jab really well. Hmm. You can see, you can see he's got he's he's got mm. that cultured boxing style. It's that, as I said, that old school. He and does. you can, it, it, it comes from a good trainer like Sebastian Rothman. Now Vusi, you know, he's got his uh, hand down, uh, his left hand down, mm. and um, Etienne loves that little over and straight route. So we'll see if he can time it right, or if Vusi is maybe setting him up for something. Maybe he wants to count him. Let's see. We have we'll see how Etienne's come with that right hand. And got to watch. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, with the post-fight interviews as well, we have Sam Bailey running around everywhere today. <laughs> we had a, we almost had a, a calamity. <laughs> but Sam looks, uh, you co probably can't see Sam, just in the, oh sorry, in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, uh, working all night, taking photos, doing interviews, everything. Busy, 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 busy. It's a busy night, a eh? very quiet, quiet first round. Mm, the crowd's the crowd's pulled out. It has, it has. It's uh, pretty full, which I'm excited for. Um, Main events coming. Yes. <laughs> it's in with some great shots there. Back to the fight. Mm. And he, he, someone in the crowd saying, hands up, Wussy. You can notice that their left hand is, it's very is, low. is very low. It's very low. I know what it's like to keep your hands low and getting caught. Um, it's a mistake we all make. But um, let's see. Maybe Wussy's smarter. Because like, he's rolling. He's rolling that right hand. So he's aware that his hand's low. Maybe it works in his favor. So let's talk about a potential uh, future fight. There's been rumors that Etienne Fanikuk will fight Mark Farah next for the Gauteng title. I've heard, and we have Mark Farah on the bill tonight as well. Another another interesting fight. Could Definitely. be a, a potential future matchup. Very, very good fight, I think. I like it, I like it. You know, Mark Farah, he had a... Didn't have an amateur background. He mm. actually started in white collar boxing, which is almost like a social type boxing. Had a few fights and decided to turn pro. Uh, we found out he's a he's a natural sportsman, and we found out that he's actually pretty good. So he's um, with Alan Tawil at the moment. Uh, he's grooming him, uh, teaching him new things, and uh, he learns and grows with every fight. So does Etienne. Yes. Etienne's been to the SAs before. He I think he caught a silver um, in 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 2016. So. He's got a little bit of amateur experience and now is building in the pros with Sebastian. And uh, I think, you know, they're both doing what they need to do to get their guys ready. So I'm looking forward to that matchup as well. But shall we go with Etienne stalking? Ooh, nice jab there from Jabbing Etienne. his opponents. Oh. Moving, rolling. So Etienne's got some movement there. You can see you can see he's advanced a little bit since his last fight. He's very relaxed as well. Yes, I don't know if you remember his last fights against Francis Matika, where Matika actually bit him. Yes, <laughs> that was a very crazy fight. I remember seeing uh, the big bark mark on his back, but uh, yeah, that was that's boxing, eh? I still don't know if BSA did anything about it. You know, like that's that is a bit un that's that's under you know that's not that's that's not how the sport works. I remember Mark Tyson doing it to Vander Holyfield, where he actually bit half of his ear yeah. off and uh, got consequence for that. But um, you know, we'll we'll see. Um, I think what's I think you know with this fight right now, Etienne is composed. I think he is doing what he needs to do. I think uh, the, his opponents also composed a lot more than what I thought. And um, let's see how they come out in the second round. Maybe we see a little bit more fireworks and so forth. Of course, of course. You've been in there, you've seen it, and now you can kind of put that forward your the best way possible. Round number two gets underway. Of course, he's starting with a good jab. I like Vusi, he's loose, but he, he knows what he's doing, you know, he's mm. he, he's rolling punches, he's, you know. Again, I, I, another guy that doesn't, don't look at the record. Yes, you know, don't uh, look at it, no, you never look at records, I think it can be very deceiving, and if you do, you can be uh, misled sometimes. I've seen, I mean, we, we are obviously everyone's seen shows where, where guys are, are being grossly mis, uh, mismatched, and this is not mm. one of them, this is a very, very good bill so far. Mm. Guys are being matched very tough, and... Indeed. 
and I'm looking and I'm looking forward to even more coming tonight. Hitson catching with a nice counter left hook there, coming in, and a good jab. He's snapping that jab really nicely. Pussy coming down to the body, throwing straight punches and kind of pawing with the jab. There's a nice little right uppercut. Slash try oh, oh, and to the body with the left hook and to the top of the left hook. Before putting that, pressure be on it. Before that fight, the only thing I'm not liking about Wussy is one punch at a time. Yeah, one not punch. Not putting it together. Of course. You look, it's early in the in the rounds. Hopefully he picks it up. Mm. But um, I like that he's pulling with the jab, keeping his range, finding his range. You can see mm. his experience. Mm. Etienne uh, has to work around this jab, and let's see how he gets it done. You can see... Oh, great right hand nice from Etienne. Very nice right hand from Etienne. Right to the body and rolling. Look at that Very movement. Very good action in the inside. Good. Moving. The way being I'm, defensive the, as well as what, aggressive. What I'm seeing Etienne is a fighter that can potentially become something. And you... Definitely. You, you, his movement is... And it's not just not just raw power and trying to knock... It's, 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 it's the head movement after he's throwing the shots. It's, it's hitting and moving. It's, exactly. It's, exactly. It's a bit more than just banging exactly and that's uh, that's what i wanted to see from his last fight Harry. i wanted to see if he had these elements if he would grow and he for these first two rounds he's shown it well exactly i think the fight against matika was a particularly tough matika was oh, very tall good body shot from etienne yes he was but he was very tall but but it's in here it's matched with a guy his size definitely and he's getting the upper hand but but don't discount Wussy. he's coming with some good shots here as well. not he's no walkover etienne's got to keep his hands up and stay focused Referee just breaking them up temporarily and back to the action again. Nice job from Etienne. Oh, good left hook. Oh. Both guys are doing the, the, the left hook um, starting up and down. <laughs> both touching the body. It's like they you? both read the same boxing book. You know? yeah. <laughs> it's, it's good. It's, it's good, good boxing. Working up and down is the best, you know. Um, you can't protect both uh, your head and your body. So, you know, you work down, bring his hands down and then come up to the top. It's a very simple and effective plan. If you can if you can work it out properly you know absolutely so you see oh good both boxes are Etienne, putting in a good performance today. i like etienne's footwork he doesn't just stay on the ropes you know like jabalani earlier look you know uh, as we as we saw his fight he stayed on the ropes quite a bit and mm. you know uh, traded punches etienne likes to move and get back into the center of the ring and then gain control again very smart boxing from etienne you can see someone in the crowd uh, calling out to Vusi to steal the round there. <laughs> but uh, another round in the bag for Etienne, I believe. I think so. I think so. He's, he's looking composed, though. I like it. He's doing what a young prospect has to do. Round number three about to get underway here. And we have... Let's see the start of the round here. Coming to the center of the ring, Etienne feeling out of the chat. Passing. Oh. Wussy coming with a surprise left hook. Oh, both guys training 1-1-1. One, one, one. Great left shot there from Wussy. Right I like the combination from Wussy uh, right yes, there. Yes, yes. And a big right hand from Wussy again. Etienne oh, stepping has, back. He has Etienne in some trouble here. He does, he does. Look, Etienne's a durable boy. I've seen him take punches before. Let's see if he can get out this again. Hmm. Well, the referee stepping in there. Wussy, you definitely had the upper hand on that he exchange. Did, he did, he did, he did. Let's see if he can keep it up. Etan going back to the body and has Wussy on the ropes. Wussy comes with a big right hand. Action's heating up now, guys. Action is heating up indeed. They definitely want to steal this third round. Someone wants this, this third round. They both want it badly. And this is when the fight truly begins. Exactly. All the, exactly. All the mental games, everything begins right now. Exactly. They've worked each other. I think, you know, they've had their ease into it. Again with the right hand. I thought Wussy would be getting caught with the right hand. Etienne's getting getting caught with the majority of the right hands this fight. Or this round, let's say. Uh, uh, the referee loving to block the view from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, oh, great there. Good movement from Etienne there. But oh, clean right hand there from Etienne, Etienne, um, from, from Vusi, sorry. And uh, Etienne shakes his head at him. That's again so another again. sign. <laughs> shakes his head saying, you know, you, you got me, but let's see what do you, what we do now. Vusi again with the one-two combination. Hopefully he doesn't get too predictive. I, I, that's what I was just about to say right now because that right hand has been thrown almost all, all the time. You know, like it's just a, it's just a habit now. Well, now he's bringing the left hook. Ladies and gentlemen, into the commentary box steps DJ Creel. <laughs> the real <laughs> DJ, come say something, yeah. What's up, guys? It's a boxing talk with your boy Hayden and Ricky Chavalala, <laughs> and great night of boxing. What, and what yeah. do you think of the fight, sir? No, it's great. Uh, have 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 uh, Etienne slightly up at the moment. Uh, 
but a great night of fighting. What do you, uh, let's talk about the main event, DJ. What are you thinking about that? I'm looking forward to um, Plongo's fight in Colombo. I really want Colombo to win. I really love that guy. He's got a lot of power. And uh, it's going to be a tough fight. It's actually a tough fight to say who's going to win. Mm. But like I said, I really want Colombo to win. He's, you know, he's the, a youngster coming in. Uh, Ntlongo's old now, but listen, he can still fight. Don't expect anything but a fight. It's going to be a great fight. Everyone, you know, that's what everyone's actually yet to see, I think. Of course. That's what I'm yet to see. Of course. And it's going to be something great you're going to see. Uh, the fight's going to be flaming, I promise you. Yes. And but I want Colombo to win, but listen, Ntlongo is going to bring the fight. No doubt about it. 100%. Absolutely. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, guys, you've heard it here from DJ Creel. Um, he goes by... Um, Musa, <laughs> you've heard it here from DJ Krill. He's one of our most brightest shining stars in the country. Um, holds the flag half for SA Boxing, and uh, you know I'm proud to know him. I'm proud to um, you know be associated with him and uh, have trained in gyms with him. Um, he's a hard worker, does what he has to do, and you know if you can hear it from anyone, you hear it from DJ because he knows his boxing. Thank you, guys. Sweet man, enjoy your evening. Have Cheers, a good sir. evening. Enjoy the fights, DJ. Lacquer. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are into round number five now. <laughs> and uh, we're underway. Some, some fireworks nice in the beginning. That the crowd getting really uh, Bushy looking at the ref and complaining about something. Etienne not oh. taking in that for a, a sound of stopping. He wants to get this action on the way. Looking at his opponent very aggressively. Let's see. Etienne seems to like getting into wars. <laughs> Let's put it that way. He always likes a good fight. If you want to see a good matchup, you, you, you get Etzin for Nikak in the ring. Because he's there to fight, he's got a lot of heart, and uh, you know he's, he's building himself. And I, I think you know he's definitely someone to look out for, and uh, someone that will be a very entertaining fighter for South African boxing. Oh, no, I think you, you hit the nail on the head right there, Rix. He needs to get through this fight, though. But definitely. I, I, I don't see him losing a round, although Vusi has landed some significant shots he in has, between. He has, he has. And, um, you know, it doesn't look phased, but, you know, punches add up. And we'll exactly. see yeah. if, um, you know, they, they end up taking a bit of gas on him after a bit of a while. But they're both in the middle now, trading punches. I'm not liking... Uh, uh, Etienne's very, been very susceptible, uh, susceptible to the right hand this fight. He has been, it's been it's getting slowed through. him down a bit as well. His punches are coming a bit slower, but um, let's see. Well, you can see you guys are a little bit tired with they the shots holding, there. Holding each other, falling in. I would like to see a bit more composure again, like in the beginning. Yes. It's in a bit on wobbly feet. Oh, oh great catches left him with a big left hook. And Bussy keeps coming forward regardless. He doesn't care. Bussy is yes, a tough big man. Big hand he caught it in with. Oh. Edson needs to start picking it up now because he's getting a tough fight and, you know, this is trying to take the, the, the tempo of the fight away from him. Oh, some now shots in the corner. Yes, Edson's doing exactly what he needs to do. Oh. Got him on the ropes. Oh, he's nailing him there. Get in the action, oh. bang. No, I don't know about and that. Stop the fight. I that don't is, know about that call. That's a terrible decision, I think. I don't think he was in as much trouble as I the referee thought so. then. He looked fine. He didn't, it wasn't, in, he wasn't taking punishment. He took punishment, but I mean, he looked fine. I think he's very disappointed, Bussy, right there. I don't think that should have be been stopped. I'd be disappointed too. I think that was a premature stoppage yeah, right there. It was there. very premature stoppage. Etienne here celebrating. I think, you know, he won the fight, so regardless, sure. I, don't, I don't blame him. But here yeah, you got the two guys in the middle of the ring, obviously, talking. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not as respectful, obviously, I think, maybe from the, 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 the bad decision from uh, Bussy things. Yeah. Maybe a rematch, because I, I didn't see a bad uh, I saw a very good fight there. I, I, very think good I think Etzin kind of got away a little, not easy, but I think that, you know, it was tougher than what he thought. You can see, you can see Bussy pacing around the ring. He's not happy with that decision at, at all. all. I wouldn't be either. That's not a good call from the ref. I think, you know, we boxers, you know, we train months and months and months in advance to get in this ring for a few rounds, six rounds. And, you know, in this case, 12 rounds in another, but a few hours of your life, you know, and... You want to carry on. You know, if someone's hurt to the point where they can't carry on and they, they're out on their feet and they, you know, they're dazed, I understand. But when a man's there and he's fighting and this is what we do, it's a tough sport. You know? I, I like your analogy. Like, Etienne was probably going to win the fight. But irrespective, the, the opponent wasn't in so much danger. The, the first signs of danger, the all. referee has jumped in. Not at all. Maybe a bit of inexperience in the referee's Not point. at all. You know, if, if, if Etienne was walking over the guy and maybe, and then they had stopped it, 
maybe I could understand. But it was a very competitive fight. Vusi had the advances at, 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 at a lot of points. And, and, and one, moment of, one moment of a, of, of, of a bit of dominance and the referee jumps in. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know about that decision, uh, Hayden. But you know what? Let's not take away all the flair from Etienne. He has one. It's another one of his record. Yeah. Um, you know, let's see. Maybe they bring a rematch just to, you know, compensate Vusi. 